What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Adex providing you with the trade recap video for Tuesday, April 26, 2022. First and foremost, I want to say thank you for the feedback that I received for the first video. I'll continue to make watch list and trade recap videos for you all so I can show you my reasoning behind these plays or why I choose these particular setups. So just like the last video where I showed you how you were able to profit on both sides of the NVIDIA trade, I'm going to be showing you two Nike trades that totaled almost 340%. It was a Nike 134 call that we took last week for 142% and the Nike 127 put that we closed out today, it got a runner that went to 196%. A day trade to the upside last week and a swing to the downside. So now onto the trade. All right. So last week on Tuesday, the 19th, Nike was presenting us with an inside day setup. As you all know, because we have an inside day, we play both sides. We were holding this broadening formation that Nike was creating on the day, and we were also below this downtrend line that we couldn't get above that was holding as resistance, right? With this inside bar, we know that Nike was going to pay us either way. If it broke to the downside, we were full time frame continuity to the downside, and we have a gap fill below 128.89 that gets filled at 127.86. That we could be able to take profits there if it broke to the upside we had the potential to go two up on the week right and with ultimately the potential to go two up on the month right that's if we were able to get above the downtrend line break although we did have full time frame continuity to the downside i actually had a bias to the upside due to the strength seen in retail and department stores last week Obviously, we, play, we pay attention to sector rotation and we like to see which sectors institutions are putting their money in. And then we look at for actionable signals. Nike, if you can look, if you see here on this monthly chart, Nike was giving us coming off of a hammer from the previous month. And we had the ability to go two up on the month if Nike was able to get above this downtrend line break. The, but Probably the one of the main reasons why I liked Nike to the upside was that Nike was also giving us the ability to flip green on all time frames above 134.45. All right. So shout out to the TMG. If Nike was in trigger machine gun, for those of you that don't know, if Nike could go two up on the day, we had the potential to go two up on the week. And if we trigger two up on the week, we were only seven cents away from flipping all uh all continuity back up to the upside green everything except for the year right so not only are we paying attention to whether uh, whether or not full time frame continuity at that moment we also want to see when we flip continuity to the other side and we were going to flip continuity to the other side seven cents away from the two up on the week trigger all right institutions were placing their money in companies such as target macy's TJ Maxx and like Kohl's. So it only seemed reasonable that Nike would only catch a bit. As long as Nike broke my trigger to the upside, my daily call trigger, I was gonna get in calls. And that's exactly what happened, all right? So now with the replay tool here, let's see how the trade play out, okay? I also have on the side screen that you can see, this is the alert chat on the Discord where I alerted the play for the group. If you haven't already, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to trade with the team at Adex Trades, make sure to check the link at the bio, uh, in the bio. All right, so now onto the trade. All right, so be, before I go into the trade, let me look at the watch list. So I also mentioned in the watch list, right? As you can see, we played banks. Energy was going crazy that day. Financials was going to go crazy that day. Actually did go crazy that day. And then I said to pay attention to retail and apparel because we had saw that we were in a target trade that was like up like 200%. And we had seen that institutions were placing their money in retail and apparel. Obviously, sector rotation is like a prime and butter to how you want to win in this market. All right. So we got in in the morning and let me play. Shout out to the replay tool. I'll play it. All right right here got in calls 134 call at one one dollar and 58 cents was my fill you can see that nike gapped up we triggered two up on the day right off of the inside day and then we also triggered two up on the week notice how we're above 134.45 and look at the continuity or look at uh, according to this indicator we are now the hour is green the day is green the week is green 
the month is green and the quarter is green. So we had flipped up the, and the continuity to the upside except for the year, obviously. Now, if I continue to play and also You see where Nike gives us the retest. Shout out to the strat and shout out to the pivots. Nike gives us the retest at the weekly call trigger. That gives you an opportunity to buy more. And you also can see that we're possibly about to break out of this bull flag right here. All right. So talk Nike um, R2-135-21. I mentioned to the group that you can take some off here that now that we hit our price target, we have a couple of price targets and I'll continue to play break out of the bull flag 212 rev to the upside notice how nike is still continuing to go all right and i and i mentioned oh we got, we're in a jpm trade as well nike 52 percent here Let's see then right, nike kept going FTT on and going up. We have full time frame continuity to the upside, except for the year. Kept going. Gives us another TTO. Boom. All right. Notice where Nike TTOs, y'all. Nike TTOs, the first one right off this weekly pivot. Breaks out of the bull flag with the 212 rev to the upside. Then look where it TTOs again, right off this other weekly pivot. This is why these price targets and these pivots are very important, you guys. Because as long as I see, as long as when price is going down and I see that weekly pivot right there, I just wait and see where it's going to go. Then you can see Nike TTO, go back to the upside. And then... Yeah, where was that last one? Boom. All right. 138.65. And it was here. You can see I mentioned next price target here for Nike. Take some off here. Still holding runners, but I'm aiming for the two up pivot for the month. But it didn't give us that, unfortunately. However, it did give us that extra little pump, pump that gap up on the 15. And so it ended up being... 142 percent all right my fill was at one dollar and 58 cents and then i was able to close out at three dollars and 83 cents okay all right so that was how the trade ended up going to the upside for nike and this was on tuesday and it was only it was like only a one day trade all right so now fast forward okay so if you traded last week on the 21st and the 22nd which was like Thursday or Friday, you know that the indices probably gave the biggest two day decline of the year. I'm pretty sure it was probably the biggest, but if not, um, if not the biggest. Uh, so Nike was starting to fall. So intraday, I realized that as markets were starting to fall, that Nike was presenting us with another setup, right? And so I remember I was looking at Nike and And so this was a setup that Nike was giving us. I have Nike on the 15 and I also have Nike on the daily right here. So we had that gap fill for Nike that we created when Nike gapped up off of this two one of this two two one two up that it created, right? So we had two gaps to the downside. We were now notice how now Nike is full time frame continuity back to the downside now. Now that we are below that uh, level, which was at 134.45. So I mentioned to the team and I said, I entered Nike 127 puts at uh, five, uh, the April 6th expiration at $2.05, $250, right? And this was my analysis. XOY created a three down shooter on the week, which was exhausted at the downtrend line, which meant that there was a lot of magnitude to the downside because XOY had just recently went up. Nike had two gaps to the downside, so it only made sense that if XLY wanted to continue, and we know we play sectors, right? So we were getting rejected by the downtrend line. And since Nike is in XLY, we play the sectors. 
If XLY went 3-2 down this week, Nike would fall. What added to my confluence was the fact that Nike had these two gaps to the downside. So I alerted the play to the group last Friday. I said that this was gonna be a swing, just get two weeks out and now onto the trade. Okay. So I'm gonna be looking at this on the 15. Let's see what happens. Oh, immediately. And actually what was, what was funny about the Nike trade was that it, oh, actually, no, I actually alerted it to the group as well. And I said that Nike was filling the gap because XLY gapped down. And now XLY tried to fill the gap to the upside and Nike was also trying to fill the gap to the upside as well. As long as Nike just gave us that retest, because you know, you have to retest a breakout, right? It broke down and you wanted to see if it was a retest. So I said, Nike has filled the gap and now we want to take some off and see if this is the retest, retest right? And then it kept going. Nike low of the day gave us that retest right here. Gave us that retest right here. going full time frame continuity to the downside let's go monthly pivot tto that's why we have those pivots that's why it's very important you could take some profits here right through xly was weak nike was weak as well let's go to that gap Buy more if you want to. Retest of the monthly pivot. Oh, and actually, no, before I talk about the retest of the monthly pivot, this was actually yesterday. So this was the first flush that Nike gave us. And then I believe it tried to retrace back to the upside. Now, let me tell you something that's very important in how we trade. Because we understand, or because my reason of getting into the play was to capture or take advantage of both those gap fills, as long as Nike did not get back above my uh, my my entry to go short, I was going to stay in that play. I obviously, or you should know that retests exist and you should know that TTOs exist. And what had happened was is that Nike flushed at the monthly pivot and I had alerted to the group that Nike may only give us this today. Then it began to come up, but I wanted, I stayed in, although I was negative on the play, right? Depending on your, uh, depending on the expiration of your contracts, we know that as long as we are below, as long as price is below the, our entry, play still going down. Full time frame continuity to the downside as well, and we have a gap fill play to the downside, right? And so it was, it was actually this morning where Nike proceeded to go down bear flag breakout as well right we play it shout out nike swing from friday to tuesday let's get that gap fill we know it's there gap right there Still go TTO. You can keep TTO. 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 Use you that 2 2 rev on the 15. We know institutions are selling. We have full time frame continuity to the downside. There's no reason to sell. Let's get that gap filled. So yeah, we're about seven cents off from the gap, but the play was pretty much done, right? So we entered 100, the 127 puts for next week at $2.05. We were able to close out today at $7.04, uh, $7.04. So from $250 to $740, almost 200% for a Two day swing, three day swing from Friday to Tuesday, from Friday to Tuesday. All right. And so that is your trade recap for Nike 134 call that ended up going 
for 142%, and the 127 put that ended up going for 196%, almost 340% total. So if you wanna get more videos like this, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you wanna trade with the team at Addicts Trades, make sure to check out the link in the bio. And of course, you all have a great trading day tomorrow. I'll see you later.